let's obsess over Wonder Woman's closet for the LA junket, Gal Gadot wore a polka dot bustier and pants from Johanna Ortiz, a new designer I'm obsessed with, says stylist Michaela Erlanger. Photo, Dan MacMedon, USA Today, to some, and by some we mean almost all the critics, Gal Gadot is the real hero of Batman v Superman, Dawn of Justice. As the Israeli actress zipped around the world charming the masses, Gadot also wore some seriously killer fashion. We chatted up Gadot's stylist, Michaela Erlanger, who also styles Lupita Nyong'o, on how they chose to dress Wonder Woman's human alter ego. It turns out we're not alone in our girl crush. She's exquisite and she's such a role model, says Erlanger of Gadot. I'm thrilled to be working with her. Mexico City, by day, Gadot kicked things off with T-length florals. Photo, Victor Chavez, wire image, for a daytime photo call, Gadot wore a chic Dolce and Gabbana outfit paired with red Jimmy Choo heels. I'm such a believer in dressing for the occasion, says Erlanger, adding that the floral embellished pencil skirt and bustier felt right for Mexico, the motif was just colorful and vibrant and the stripes were playful. The whole thing just worked, and it looked exquisite on her figure. Mexico City, by night, Gadot wore a high-low hem to the Mexico City premiere. Photo, Victor Chavez, wire image, that evening, Gadot upped the ante for her first big Batman v Superman premiere in a Gian Battista Valley haute couture floral gown paired with black Christian Louboutin Iriza pumps. It was so glamorous, says Erlanger. I thought it was fitting for the occasion and the location. The carpet in Mexico was pretty massive, and we wanted something that was going to really sort of set the tone for the occasion. New York City look who joined the number ball mat army. Photo, Charles Sykes slash Invision slash AP, when in Gotham, go fierce. Godot wore this bold, pearl encrusted brocade number straight off Balma's runway during Paris Fashion Week. That was really cool, says Erlanger. I thought it was an unexpected choice to go short, but the premiere was at Radio City Music Hall. It was the right place to take a risk and have fun. Here's the same dress on model Isabelle Fontana, work. The dress was first shown at Balmaz Menswear Fall slash Winter 2016 to 2017 show on January 23rd. Photo, Pascal L. E. Segretain, Getty Images, London Luck Be This Lady in Red. Photo, Jeff Spicer, Getty Images, Move Over, Henry Cavill. This stunning, one-of-a-kind crimson velvet Prada gown, paired with a fire engine red lip, was super all on its own. I mean, Erlanger exhales. That was our wow moment. That's the movie star moment. There were risks with this choice, too. You have to be careful wearing red on the red carpet, but I think she nailed it, says the stylist. Was it a conscious decision, putting Wonder Woman in red? Not really. It was kind of an afterthought. And let's not forget Gadot's Og look take one. Photo, Clay Enos, Warner Brothers Pictures in Batman v Superman, Gadot admits she had way more mobility in her costume than her often tripping caped CO stars, but the costume that I have now for, 2017's, Wonder Woman is far better, she said. The one that I wore in this one was very heavy. Bathroom breaks, however, are still a challenge. I'm still working on the zipper or something, she laughed. And when Wonder Woman premieres on June 23, 2017, expect more glamour. It's just the beginning, says Erlanger. We have a million more fashion moments to make. Mm -hmm.